everybody, welcome back. Coming up with a good effective YouTube title is actually harder than coming up with a good idea for a video and making the video itself. So today I want to take a break from all that. Let's keep it simple and personal. Let's just call this video a good guitar exercise because that's exactly what it is. It's short and simple, but it will work on many aspects of your guitar playing at once. It will deal with a bit of a stretch, with coordination, with combining, picking with legato, hammer-ons and pull-offs, and also changes of strings. The basic building block for this exercise is a very simple figure on two strings, which will then move across all six. And it goes like this. We're gonna start with the little finger on the 14th fret of the first string with a downstroke. And then at intervals of a whole step, so 12 and 10, we're going to play with the middle and the index finger, or fingers two and one, with pull-offs. So one downstroke, and pull-offs on 12 and 10, just like that. Very simple. Now, for some of you, this might be a bit too much of a stretch. Maybe you have smaller hands or maybe tighter hands for now, or maybe you're a beginner. So feel free to move up the index finger by one fret, like this. Right? This or this. They're both good, both work, and you can apply this, of course, through the whole thing. For this video, I will demonstrate with the open position, but feel free to do this if you need to. Eventually, you might want to try and do this one because it adds that element of a stretch, a bit more control, too. So that's our first string, 14, 12, 10. Now, on the second string, we're going to add the ring finger on the 13th fret now. So right here in this gap, right? And for now, we're going to use only downstrokes. And when we're done with that, we're going to go back up where we came from. So 10, 12, 14. And back up. Once we have this, we can make a loop of it and get used to the mechanics. So downstroke, pull-offs, downstroke, downstroke, hammer-ons, pull-offs. You can spend some time on this and get used to that combination of downstrokes, pull-offs, hammer-ons, make sure they all sound good, they all sound in time, they all sound in tune, and they all have the same tone, so the same attack, same volume, you know, work on making it even. As you work through this basic building block, you'll start noticing some problems, right? For some people, it's the pull-offs, it's hard to keep that sound consistent. For some, is the combination of using a pick with the legato, so you go, it's hard to do that. So just take it slow. Try to keep it steady. Try to make it sound as even as possible so that if you were a spectator, you wouldn't necessarily go like, oh, look, pick, oh, look, legato, right? We try to keep it as smooth as possible. Sometimes that means going a bit lighter with the pick or being a bit more assertive with the legato. Now that you have this under your fingers, let's combine it into a full six string workout in a very simple way, actually. Let's run each loop, each cycle twice. So we go from the highest note, down to the lowest, back up, and back down. But the second time we get to the lowest note, instead of playing with the ring finger, we play with the little finger. And that brings us onto the next set of two strings, and we can repeat the same figure. Just one fret lower. And then when we get to the second lowest note here on the third, instead of doing it with the ring finger again, we move to the little finger, which moves up back one more fret. So the full thing goes like this. Start on the first string, Move down to the second, third, fourth, and then five. And then we run out of strings. If you have seven strings, you can do one more. One thing we're not worrying about in any sense or any kind of tonality, because if you analyze the notes you're playing, they're all over the place. That's fine. It's just a finger exercise. So these notes don't make sense as far as any given keys or anything like that. Just play them as an exercise. As we 
we said in the beginning, you can also do this with the index finger up one fret if you can't stretch that far. It's just as simple, you'll do the same thing. Just like that, it will sound a bit stranger or a bit different, but it's the same exercise. But as I said earlier, if you can, slowly but surely work your way down to a full whole step here. It's very useful. If you want to go deeper with technique, I have to suggest my books on alternate picking and legato. They're extremely useful, extremely in-depth if you want to take your technique to the next level. Thank you so much for everything. If you're on my Patreon, you'll be able to download this as a little PDF. And uh, I will see you no matter what next week for more.